I'm Sarah Hatch with Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. This is my 10 year old and we are going to be drawing a hummingbird today. Do you want to tell us anything about a hummingbird? A hummingbird can fly upside down, hover, um, and fly backwards, fly forwards, and sideways. That's amazing! We have a hummingbird feeder outside and so we've been watching hummingbirds a lot lately. <laughs> For this drawing, we're going to start out with pencil to block it in very lightly. And then we're going to use a micron pen to draw in the outline details. Am I boring you? <laughs> and then we're going to color it in with colored pencils. And at the very end, we're going to do some marker work for the feathers. Now all of that is optional. You don't have to use a micron pen. If you don't have one, just use a regular pen or a fine tip marker or a pencil if that's all you've got, that's fine. And then for coloring in, use whatever medium you have available and if you don't have marker for the end, that's a totally optional step. So grab your supplies and let's get started <laughs> if you're not too sleepy. In order to draw this, we're gonna just block it in really fast, really lightly with a pencil Start not in the middle, just a little bit to the right of the middle. Draw the head. So we gotta save room for those wings. So I'm blocking in. Oh, you're doing good. What's wrong? Too big. Yeah, just make sure it's a little bit smaller. And then we're gonna come out with the beak and then taper it down. Me up. Good. And then from the beak, you come back and down. So all of these lines are going to be erased eventually because right now we're just doing what's called blocking in. It's got a flat top with the head. Okay, so now the tail feathers make this shape. Really? Yeah, it's kind of like a triangle but a curved one. And then the back side comes up. So we've got like an S swoop triangle without, like if the triangle were like that, so it cuts off the triangle. Tail feathers here. Now use your pencil to get the angle of the wings. Is that better? Yeah, that looks so good. Okay. Now, if we're going too fast, feel free to pause the video to get your blocking in right. Okay. Hey, maybe I'm good at blocking in. Yeah, you're doing good. So the back wing comes out, and then it comes down, meets up with the back. Okay. All right, now we're gonna get our micron pens. So now we're just drawing in the details. So you can start on the head. Keep that flat top. I'm gonna make the head a little smaller. Yeah, that's one thing you can do when you're drawing with the pens is, is make changes. If you felt like, oh, I made that a little bit too big, then you can make it smaller. I'm gonna also change the beak. Or whatever you wanna call it. So notice the beak is thicker here and tapers. Please stop it. That looks so good. And there's just a little marking for the nose right there. Yeah, 
Hey, look. Looking good. You're ahead of me. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, of course. It's okay. Take it. Um. That's okay. It looks really good. Okay, so now the tail feathers. You got one at that angle. And so you curve, and then you don't bring it all the way back up. Because then you're going to have to get another one. Mm -hmm. It's okay, just keep going. Maybe I can grab them. Let's get it again. That happens. Mm -hmm. Feather spreading out another feather on it. <laughs> Go yeah. do it slightly different than you by accident. That's okay. I think um, feathers don't yeah. have to be perfect. And then it leads into the body with these curved shapes. That signify feathers at the bottom. Huh? Oh, you're still working on my feathers. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, uh, I like the back that I did. That looks really good. Okay, don't forget this part. And oh, I yeah. didn't go very high up, but the picture reference goes higher up. And then it goes down. Let's do the top part of the wing first. Good. And now coming down, you can just do these little ridges. For the feathers. Mm -hmm. And they get a little smaller as they get closer to the bottom. Um, I did the Ooh, the that looks good. I like it. And then we're gonna do the other wing. Right now. Okay, and then there's just some little ridges, teeny tiny, along here. Little ridges, teeny tiny, along here. Very good. And then you're gonna wanna do lines. For the rest of the feathers. The rest, yeah. And they change angles as they go down. Yeah. And then on this side, you just do the lines. Because you can't see the part where the ridges are. Because they're on the... Hey, what are we missing? The eye? Yeah. So, we can just do a circle. I like it, that's the eye. Yeah? All right, now I'm gonna pause it, and we're gonna erase. All right, so we're just gonna show in double time how the coloring process goes. We're using several different shades of light blue and green. We have quite a few to choose from in our color pencil set. If you don't have as many options, that's okay too. You can just use what you have. We're starting with the light greens and the light blues. And you can actually use color to help show form. And we're gonna illustrate that as we keep going. So we're laying down the lighter colors first and now I'm coming in with this darker blue and 
I'm using that to shade the belly and the throat. And then you can also come in with a gray. I know that gray looks more like a brown, but that's because of the color temperature of the video. But it's actually supposed to be kind of like a, a dark gray. <laughs> so you just go in and you do your shadows with that color. And then I switched up to the lighter again because I hadn't finished it quite. Sometimes I skip around a little bit while I'm drawing. I get a little bit distracted sometimes, which is okay. So I'm finishing up that those lighter colors. Now I'm back to the shadows right there on the face. And then this is a cool part. So since I already put down the shadows, now I can come over it with color. You can do those layers with your colored pencils put down the shadows and then come over it with color and that helps get form. The wings, the lower part, if you'll see on the graphic that I drew, that graphic has the, the lighter blue in the wing and then also has some blues and grays in that middle ridge. And I don't know if I've ever explained but these graphics that I put in the top of the video during recording, they're so that you can see while you're drawing. Um, it's what I'm looking at off the screen while I'm drawing. I draw them ahead of time on my iPad. So just keep going over things with color, blending them in. Blending colors together is a fun way to give form and make it look real. Oh yeah, and the beak has a little bit of red. It's just kind of like a lighter orangish, reddish color. And just switch it up a little bit as you draw, and it'll help give some form to your drawing. So we're gonna stop the video soon of the colored pencil part. You can use colored pencil for the whole time if you want to. But I am switching over to marker now, as you'll see. If you've got fun colors of blues and greens, you can go in and draw the feathers like I'm doing. You just draw these little U shapes and don't try to have them be too much of a pattern. You just wanna put them down to show the feather markings. My son really liked that vibrant dark blue and he wanted to put that into hit the wing. You can do it however you want to make it look good for your hummingbird and have a lot of fun drawing. Feel free to pause the video if you want to keep using this as your reference. I love your hummingbird. It looks so good. Good job, buddy. I hope you guys had fun drawing the hummingbird. If you want to go to my website, there's a link below that will show you a coloring page that you can use of the hummingbird and um, it also shows some of my other art like my paintings and my comic and the illustrations that I'm working on so feel free to click on that link yeah but there's some of my stuff a lot of it's on my wall but there's more on the website so check that out and we'll see you next time